Hi, it's Ann. Thank you for dropping by. I am continuing with my Late to the Party Junk Journal January projects, and I could not resist doing Day 24 fabric. And one of the reasons I wanted to do this is I'm not great at using fabric in my junk journal, so I thought it looked like an interesting challenge. I love fabric. I have a ton of it. I'm a sewer, a quilter, uh, make a lot of clothes, but um, uh, fabric in the journals, I don't know. I, I It bothers me sometimes if the glue seeps through them and it gets kind of patchy, you know, that they, they, they require a little bit of um, extra care that way. Um, but anyway, it was fun to challenge myself and I kind of uh, got over uh, my problem with using uh, fabric by using it in very small doses. So I'd like to show you what I did. I will also be perfectly honest, I started off kind of doing some of these projects on camera the way that I um, am accustomed to doing them. And I was fumbling all over myself. And I think it was, um, again, because I'm not comfortable using fabric in my journals. I was just not doing a good job with the on-the-fly decision-making. So this is more of a show-and-tell uh, video rather than an actual project um, uh, video. And since these are kind of shorter and bonus videos, I'm, I, I hope you will be okay with that. So let's set this aside. But fabric is the order of the day. When when I started thinking about ways that I could use small fabrics and in small pieces of fabric, I was thinking of um, uh, of banners, uh, bunting, party bunting. And I started cutting um, little pieces of fabric into these, you know, little happy little party banners. And I thought that this little pocket turned out really sweet. I just cut a few pieces of um, of linen. And uh, well, first I did the embroidery. I just embroidered a, a, a couple of um, very sweet, very small little flowers, just a couple of stitches, no fancy stitchery there. Then I cut it apart and um, adhered it onto this pocket, put a little piece of blue there because it looked like it should have been something, you know, so it should be something outside. Smeared a little um, a little bit of gesso on there for, for clouds on that blue paper and um, it just, it just had kind of a little bit of a party scene. And I think that this will be sweet uh, in a journal. Where's a, where's a page? This is how, oops, that's not an actual page, but it's the size of one. So I think that'll be sweet on a junk journal page with a pocket inside. And it looks party-like, and it's a nice use of the fabric with a different texture. Um, here is another pocket. I don't have the threads trimmed off of, of this one, but this is another full page pocket. And I've been kind of into using those full page pockets lately. Um, I think they're nice to put on top of, of a busy page where, you know, maybe there's a map or it's a printed book page or something that, you know, you, you can't journal on top of, but you can put a pocket and then have journaling space on the tag you put inside. I, this, um, the base was one of those ugly papers, you know, my husband was going through those ugly papers and uh, a, a, a couple of videos ago. And uh, this was another one of the, the crackle paint um, projects, you know, for a project, <laughs> for a technique that was marginally successful at best. I seem to be giving this crackle paint um, a, a, a lot of play. I think I just want to use it up, but it kind of looked, um, it, it looked kind of wood grainy and like it was almost like a door to me. So I dry brushed a little bit of gesso on it and uh, drew um, drew a door frame around, put a couple of liquid, liquid pearls doorknobs on it, and then just made um, made a little bunting out of some ticking. And I thought that was a sweet, sweet pocket. I had these little metal birds that had come to me in Happy Mail, and uh, I thought, oh, he needs to, he needs to sit there and uh, and be happy on that little pocket. So I think that's going to be nice um, on a, uh, a on a on a journal page with a nice uh, a, a nice long tag that can go inside. I took some brown paper that is going to actually be. A journal page. This is just a grocery store paper and I cut banner pieces out of flannel because oh, I love this piece of flannel and I don't remember what I used this for. It must have been the backing of a quilt or something like that back when I was quilting a little more actively than, than I am now. Um, but I, much like I did um, 
uh, with this pocket, I just pasted down or glued down the um, uh, the little triangles for the banner, and then I laid a piece of of uh, cording on top and zigzagged on top of uh, of that uh, to hold the cording down and also to anchor the top of the banner. It's the same thing I did with this, but I put a couple of rows on there, covered a little piece of cardstock with uh, with the same flannel uh, here for a little pocket and then made this little tag and I love this. I kept it very, very plain, but I liked the idea that you could still see some of the, the tag behind it and it sort of echoed the um, uh, the banner there with that fabric. And then with a few little pieces that I had left over, I was just, I was kind of having fun. I stamped uh, these little botanical images on a strip of muslin and I cut them into the banner shape and, but I, I didn't anchor them together. I just sort of scattered them uh, down the, the what, what I envision will be the side of a page. Um, this will be like a like a side tuck or a side a side pocket, and I think that'll be a nice useful um, a, a nice useful piece too. I just stitched it down onto a piece of um, of of grocery um, um, grocery bag paper, put a little liquid liquid pearl since I had that out uh, anyway along the edge, and um, just did a little machine stitching on top of on top of this background stitch or background piece. So it was kind of, it was fun to stamp on the muslin and to see how those uh, turned out. Um, you know, I'm used to, to, to those banners always taking that curved approach. And so this was sort of different and I got them all lined up and they looked nice and orderly. And I thought eh, one of them needs to be off kilter. There's always one, isn't there? So there is my, um, my entry for day, what was it, day 24 of Junk Journal January, hosted by Meg Journals. And um, I hope you're having fun with this challenge too. We'll see you in the next one.